Hey guys, it's Scott here and welcome to today's FIFA 22 video. We've got the reveal of all the new features and subsets of those features in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team today. First things first, we've got a trailer and then we've got a full Pitch Notes article detailing everything. So if you do enjoy this and you're hyped, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you are ready for a ton of FIFA 22 content. Also go and check out the second channel where we're uploading a load of football-based content throughout this season and hopefully going to bump up that channel throughout the entire year. I'm having a blast over there. And go and follow us on Twitch if you want to see my live reactions to these kind of things, such as the reaction to the trailer, which is how we're going to get things started today. Let's go. So, proper first reaction to the FIFA 22 Ultimate Team trailer and reveal. Okay. New ways to progress and we compete, can hear it properly more customization time. on and off the pitch, and the return of football's most memorable players. Welcome to Inside FIFA Ultimate Team. So good rivals I'm Aaron McCarty, executive producer on FIFA. And I'm Aslan Mustafa, producer on FUT. And Aslan and I are here to tell Never you a little bit about the new before. season of FUT in FIFA 22. So this year, we reworked division rivals and FUT champions. And we wanted to give you more flexibility so that you can compete when you choose. We've got more ways for you to enjoy showing off your unique style on and off the pitch. And we welcome back some of football's most beloved players with the all new Some of these hero. are going to be sick. Dina Tarle. Building your squad and competing oh. on the pitch are at the heart of FIFA Ultimate Team. And in FIFA 22, we've completely changed the competitive landscape. Division okay. rivals has an all new seasonal progression system with win streaks, ranks, and a new elite division for the best players in the world. Again, that's good. I've been that asking for that for changed. years. Divisions are now made up of stages and ranks. A win will advance you one stage, and if you're on a win streak, you'll progress even faster. Losses will move you back a stage, okay. unless you're on a checkpoint, which safeguards your progress and keeps you at the right level of competition for your skill level. And seasons are a new addition as well. Divisions are reset at the end of each season, and where you finish will determine where you start in the next season. Rewards are a massive part like of that. Division Rivals, and you'll continue to earn rewards every week. In addition, you'll also earn rewards at the end of the season as well. Winning matches each week will increase your rank within a division and qualify you to earn better weekly rewards. Every match you play will count towards your seasonal milestones. You'll get end of season rewards based on the number of matches you play, regardless of whether you win or lose. Good, really, the really division good. division goes beyond Division 1 and it gives the game's most skilled players a unique space to compete in. And in the Elite Division, there are no ranks and stages either. You'll play purely for skill rating and a position on the global leaderboard. And you'll earn rewards while competing at the top level, ultimately with the potential to qualify for the FIFA Global Series as well. Perfect. I said this for the last two years. That should be Fight the way Champions forward. Champions is now a two-tier competition that works around your schedule. Start off with the Fat Champions playoffs during the week, with a chance to qualify for the Fat Champions finals. When you're ready, take part in the finals during the weekend. It's a points-based system with some of the best rewards on offer in FUT. As we know, FIFA Ultimate Team isn't just about okay. the game's current superstars. Heroes give you new squad-building opportunities with league-specific chemistry that ties to their real-world club at the time of their heroic display and recreates those nostalgic moments that oh, earn yeah. FUT heroes a place in football folklore. FUT Heroes chemistry is unique, providing a club link to any players from the same league, along with a normal league link. FUT Heroes will link with each other based on the fact that they're in the same FUT Heroes club. And FUT Heroes will also get the same nationality bonus that other players get. So you can get a hyperlink from a hero. Last year we introduced hero. the FUT Stadium, a home ground that let you show off your unique style for your club. Yep. This season, we're taking it a step further, giving you a chance to add even more of your personality to our one-of-a-kind FUT Stadium. You'll be able to show off your unique style from the pitch side and even to the new VIP area, enhance Scream crowd up. elements like flags, cards, and banners. And new shared seasons between Volta Football and FUT will keep giving you even more ways to make over your club with fresh new theme content like kits and TIFOs available to unlock throughout the year. Plus, find your perfect okay. combination more easily with the improvements we've made to item management and search functionality, which make it easier to get the look you want in FUT cool. 22. Okay. Co-op public matchmaking is a new way to experience FUT co-op. You can play with other members of the FUT community and try out new players and squads built specifically for the mode. FUT 22 brings back all the features that make FUT our most popular game mode. Your ultimate team will look, play, and feel even more unique to your style of play in FIFA 22. Okay. Interesting. So, I'm very, very interested to see exactly how these things are split up. And for that, we're going to have to get 
and dive into the pitch notes. So now we've seen the trailer, let's jump into the deep dive pitch notes and see how all of that stuff actually works. The topics being shown here today, all of the Div Rivals information you need, all of Foot Champs information you need, co-op public matchmaking, the main menu changes, player item views, gameplay settings, stadium customization, and foot heroes. We're gonna leave Div Rivals and Foot Champs till last because there is an absolute ton of news and information regarding those, and it's also a little bit confusing, so I'll try and do my best to explain it all, but first we'll start off with the co-op public matchmaking. Basically a brand new friendly mode where you can jump in in a drop-in style game with pre-built squads that EA determine rather than your own team. Much like how you randomly come up against user-generated teams in squad battles, these are now random teams that you don't know what they are before you jump into the game mode. EA determine them based on current releases like new team of the weeks, new promo cards, etc, etc. You join online, you can play 2v2 with random people from around the world, test out some of the best players in the game, and it's all free. The one downside that appears to be the case right now is you can't seem to invite a friend to play this with for some bizarre reason. Next up, we've got main menu changes. So last year they changed everything to a sort of tab view. Now we've got a little bit of an update to that. SBCs are now on the main menu rather than having to go into play and then SBCs. You can also tab with the bumpers. You can also tab with your controller bumpers between home, play and club and you can actually see club settings again finally this year to see all of your player stats and everything like that. They've also got rid of your win-loss record for some reason from the normal menus. However, that is still available if you go to the stadium part of your club. EA have also introduced a new attribute view. You know when you scroll with the right stick between seeing the player's skill moves, weak foot, and then their contract status, their player information, etc. There's a new one that shows off their most important stats, so you can quickly compare that to other players. I don't really see much use for this feature because you can very quickly just press the bumper a couple of times to see all their in-game stats, but maybe if you're looking at a squad screen and you're looking at who has the best reactions, etc., you'll be able to quickly compare through this new view. Couple of gameplay settings, you can basically see it so that you don't watch your opponent's celebrations when they score. You have the option to make it so you look at your players reacting like sad or upset that they've conceded a goal instead. And also, online settings are now a bit more competitive in Div Rivals and Foot Champs, less assists, more manual control. There's new stadium customization this year, a VIP area in your stadium, as well as more crowd customization, such as the banners and flags that they hold up. We get more and bigger TFOs than before, and there are also search improvements to help you find exactly the color scheme that you are looking for. We also have the addition of Foot Heroes, which if you haven't seen that before, I'll leave a link to the article in the description, but basically they're sort of lesser versions of icons and they are specific to a single league. For example, in this scenario, Robbie Keane is a Premier League hero and so he gets a strong link to any Premier League player, regardless of who he played for in the past, if they're in the same league, they get a strong link. So in this scenario, Pulisic gets a strong link to him because he's in the Premier League, whereas he does not link to Jao Felix, whereas an icon would get a soft link to both. If you have a player that gets a nation link as well as a league link to him, they will get a hyperlink. So Jersey Dudek in goal as a Premier League Polish hero card will get a hyperlink to Bednarek of Southampton, for example. And they do not link to other leagues unless they are the same nation, so he will get a red link to David Alaba. Now let's get into the harder to explain part of division rivals and foot champs. Starting off with Rivals. Rivals has changed from purely division-based to season-based. So within each Ultimate Team season, which lasts for roughly six weeks, you have a set set of rewards that you can work towards in Division Rivals. There are no more placement games. You start off at the very beginning in Division 10. You then slowly but surely work your way up through the divisions by winning games. And within each division, there are checkpoints that you can hit to earn better rewards. These checkpoints will also prevent you from being relegated. So as you get more and more wins, your rank will go up and you can hit checkpoints which stop you from being able to regress. Whereas if, say for example, you need three wins to get to the next checkpoint, if you get two and then lose, you will go backwards. You can also get a win streak, which gets you extra gains for the more consecutive wins that you can get. There's also an elite division, which is basically higher than division one and is for the best of the best. Your pro players and people like that are going to be up there. Weekly rewards in Div Rivals still exist and they are based on the amount of wins and division that 
that you are in for that week. However, there are now season milestones in combination with this. So throughout the six weeks that you play Division Rivals, you will work your way towards milestone progress, and these will be bigger and better rewards, obviously, as they come every month and a half on average. Now, with each new season, you do get rolled back, but you don't have to start back at Division 10. It depends on what division you're in. So, as an example, if you're a Division 1 player after the first season, you may get rolled back to Division 4 and have to work your way back up, whereas if you finished in Division 4, you may go back down to Division 7. These are not confirmed as to how far back you will roll, but they are just estimates. And now we have Foot Champs. Foot Champs this year has been split into two different sections. One is the playoffs and one is the finals. Both of these systems Systems no longer revolve around wins, but points. Wins get you more points than losses, but you do still gain something from playing a game regardless of the result. Now, similar to previous FIFA titles, you will play division rivals to earn enough points to qualify for the Foot Champions playoffs game mode. The big thing to note is that the playoffs are playable whenever. You do have a limited number of games, and depending on how many points you gain, you get better rewards. Now, if you do really well, then you will qualify for the finals. And this is more like your typical weekend league. You earn a token that you can use to qualify whenever, and it takes place over a weekend. Now, leakers are saying that it's 20 games rather than 30, but EA have not confirmed that at this stage. So to recap, you play division rivals to earn enough qualification points to enter the foot champs playoffs, and you get rewarded for your playoffs games that you play, and you have freedom to play them whenever you want. However, if you do really well, you will unlock a token to play Foot Champs Finals, which is basically the weekend league. And they will add rewards. They will be in addition to the playoffs rewards that you will get. So the best of the best are going to get great rewards for the playoffs and also play the finals, do really well in that, and get better rewards for getting as many wins as possible. The one last thing to note is that rewards are available as soon as you have finished all your games. No more waiting till the next Thursday. This should in theory mean that you know what you're playing for in Foot Champs when the Team of the Week rolls around on a Wednesday because you will go straight into your games on a Friday thinking, I want that Messi that just came out as a new PSG inform. So you play all your games on the Friday, you open up your rewards and you see what you get. So let me know your thoughts. Do you like this new system of Div Rivals being its own separate thing with a season-based set of rewards as well as weekly rewards? And then the split of Foot Champs into a slightly more casual version that's available through the weeks in the playoffs. And then the finals, which are for the hardcore that really want to get the best rewards and do as well as they possibly can. I like the idea. It's going to be interesting to see how it actually works in the final game. People will figure it out during the beta that's starting on Friday and going to run for about three weeks. EA will obviously test things out and get final numbers of games required and limits, etc. throughout that beta period. But I'm excited for Foot 22. Let me know if there is anything that you are excited about or things that you think they missed. For example, we got no updates on objectives, milestones, squad battles, friendlies, online or offline drafts, SBCs, the transfer market, or the store. That's quite a few areas that seem to have just not been touched at all. I personally would have liked to have seen draft improvements, maybe better rewards, maybe a slightly different system to freshen things up, but hey, that's just me. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.